What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today there was something I actually forgot they added. So apparently there is a new comma quest line. Well, it's just a revamped one. If you've done it before, apparently it's just new. So we're going to be doing that and uh, see what actually changed. I don't remember doing the comma quest line. But I know I did it and I have videos of it. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, there are a few things recently that happened in terms of upgrades and changes. So in my shoes, we got it to Capris 5, which 670 uh, Cronstones, if you gather them yourself, actually takes a while. <laughs> um, and then we also changed the crystals in our shoes. So here's what my new layout looks like, just in case anyone was curious. Um, keep in mind the Kudum and Nuver are different. I use Corrupt Crystals in Kudum, and I use Awaken and Crit Damage one in the uh, Nuver. So other than that, <coughs> I still have four Hooms, uh, two Vipers, two Elkars. Um, now I changed up the RBF Crystals in the shoes just because I was tired of getting knocked down in pvp and basically once you get to high-end pvp it's really just whoever gets cc'd first loses or most of the time and uh so basically with that or let's just put an uber on for now and we have 341 dp so that's pretty nice um yeah, so basically these are my resists for now. I'm kind of testing it, more or less. And we had to knock down Bound. And it's pretty good so far. I know there's a cap of 60 in PvP. But, you know, you, if you get CC, you're just going to die. One thing I was thinking about was putting a knockback and floating in. And that might have been smarter, but I don't know. We're testing it for now. So this is what I bought earlier. Um, so I was thinking about using this crystal, knockback floating 10% instead. So uh, I don't know. It could be better. I might test it out at some point. Then we swapped out those crystals in here. We just have leftover ones that I'm not really going to sell. And... Uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. We got one DP today, and that was just from capricing the shoes. Apparently, there's been new news for, like, Black Star armor. And as far as I know, um, it works the same way as, like, the Black Star weapons, where... Or, yeah, so the Black Star weapon, where it's, like... Tet level is the equivalent of pen boss gear and so on. However, I think you get a bit more DP. So like at Tet, it'll be like 91 or something. This is like what I saw in the Korean one. It's, I don't really know the exact numbers, but from what I saw, like a Tet armor uh, for Black Star would be 91 DP. And uh, I have 93 because I also have level 4 Capris in it. So, technically, I think it would be a little bit better. Wait, where are we going? Oh. I was like, why am I in Calpheon? Let's go talk to this dude. What? Hold on. Uh, UI. Main quest on... Okay. Uh... Am I doing the right quest line? I don't think so.
Oh, on a screenshot. I actually really enjoy the Calfion music. Oh, we got a ticket. What is that? Old Moon Sky Balloon boarding ticket. I see. So. We're getting quest credit for doing this, but I also completed Kama Sylvia before they did the remaster. And I'm wondering if that means people who haven't done it, they are straight up like, I don't know, 50 to 100 quests down compared to everyone else. Like assuming you were to do everything, but um, I have no idea. I don't think it's really, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Like, if you're going to push for the 30,000 quests, you're going to be doing way more than the story. Keep being dinging. What the heck? Oh, yeah, we failed Pen like, another three times today. Felt bad. Keep failing. There's no end. Get on the old oh, rip horse. Feels bad. We're going without you. So yeah, I was like, man, it does not feel good. I'm one pen piece away and I just can't get it. Yeah, I've been on this a few times, and realistically, this is just for lazy people. Because if you have, like, anything above, like, a tier 7 horse, I think it is actually faster to just ride there. But, you know, whatever. Who's that icon? That's actually cool. We get to do the whole new quest line. Let me see. Oh, I assumed that doing this, just for all the people who have never discovered Kama Sylvia before, but I'm pretty sure it is actually faster to just ride down here, because now I have to pick up my horse again. Like, I don't know why they don't allow you to bring your horse on. I guess it's immersion, but, like, I don't know. Let me bring my horse with me. That's actually pretty cool. The game looks really nice on Remastered. You can see the textures popping in, like, far down in that area. I'm actually not really sure where I'm getting the plus two crit from. Is it this? Oh yeah, plus two crit. I think you can max out five of them if you had an often, but I think that is the only way. Yeah, so you get four crit with often. Attack speed two. 
Um, you could get three if you do the whole, like, uh, pearl crystal thingy in here. You don't even need to pay to win for it. You could just buy it off the market nowadays. I think there's a lot just sitting there. Um, yeah, just buy one of these and then melt a few things and then you can put a crystal in your armor and zero pay to win. That's what I did actually. But yeah, if you wanted more crit, you could just do that. I chose movement speed because I think I value that a little bit higher, but it's really up to you. I also have uh, 290 AP, but if you're like breaking something lower, I don't know, it might make a difference. Dude, how long does it take to get there? Dude, I'd be so scared to ride a hot air balloon in real life if it was doing that. It's like, where is it? How do you know where it's going? Imagine if something just like slams into it and then you're dead. Where are we? Voltara. You guys remember doing that quest line down there? It's like a timed tower defense with like four stages. I remember doing that. It was not fun. I was not geared back in the day when I did that. And then I ran with one of my guildies and there, we just couldn't beat it. Nowadays, I'm pretty sure if I ask like four people, I'd just be like, yeah, easy, done. That whole field. Look at how it's going to load in the textures. Yeah, we're also uh, pushing Guru One Gathering. I think we'll be there in about like maybe two or three days, assuming I kind of just don't be lazy and you know how it says level up to increase the chance of not consuming energy while gathering I feel like it does not actually do that because <laughs> uh, I feel like I use energy no matter how many levels I've been even watching it more or less since like master one and I feel like it's the same thing it doesn't actually mean anything but maybe that's just me I don't know It feels bad though because I wish there were more good grind spots in Kama Sylvia besides like, well like high end grind spots. I know they have Gyphon, that one's going to be remastered for NA soon. And uh, maybe I'll group grind there again. I have all the knowledge there which is pretty awesome. So yeah, one day I'll try to push for 500 energy, 400 CP, but the whole 400 CP one is literally just going to be me AFK cooking for like 15 hours a day, so probably not anytime soon. They really need to add a stable manager to these hot air balloons. because I would love to have taken my horse there. All right, what do I do now? Excellent. We are in Kirana. This is stable keeper here, right? Good. You gotta pay money for the hot air balloon, then you gotta pay more money to remote collect your horse. And then recover your horse, because apparently it doesn't count. I don't know why it brings it to one health. It's just kind of weird.
I got a new title. Ooh, concentrated stone. Talk to Blue. I heard Ordolita is coming out soon, and that's gonna be the new area in Kama. I am not really too sure, but they're also introducing this area, island, I believe. It's gonna be stuff around there. At least, I think Korea has it already. So one day I also kind of want to push 5,000 quests just for the plus two uh, free fail stacks. Over time, like, I've always kind of made fun of how, like, what a trash tier reward a permanent fail stack is. Like, by the time you do 30,000 quests, the time it takes you to do that, you could have just grinded and have, like, full pen by that point. But, uh, like, I'll take it. It, it saves money over time, just... It's going to take a really long time to pay that off. Meet Ophelia at the top of the tower. Dude, I feel like I remember doing all of these quests, to be honest. So I'm not really sure what got revamped for them to make the entire like quest line over again. But I remember doing these. They really need to change. Like, they actually moved it. Wait, no, they didn't. Like, Patrigo. He's out in the middle of nowhere. Read about hidden history. Basically, the story of Kama Sylvia is, is like a war with all these other things, and then mass genocide, Papu's here, reasons, basically. Probably take my daily scrolls before I forget. The heck. Where are we going? 
Where are we going? Oh god, let's maybe you should pay attention. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. This lady that gave you like an orb thingy. Oh, you can get uh, church buffs here. I didn't know that. Now I do. Meet Ophelia at the stable again. Eat. Got like rainbow hot dogs or something. Wait, what are those? Rainbow button mushroom sandwich. That looks like a rainbow hot dog, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, okay. <laughs> Meet Looney at the spirit. Looney the spirit at Looney Cabin at Polly's Forest. Okay. Polly's Forest, a great place of people lagging on each other. Fun times. Someone literally just bought two of them. Alright, well, money. I'm really just doing this quest line for the quest credit and the forest furies they give us. Cause I do want more forest furies. Just can't be bothered farming them myself. I've never actually grinded at Polly's cause by the time they released this area, I was like way over geared. I know you're supposed to go here for skill points, but I mean, I'm lazy. Gather yellow flowers. Oh god. Really? It's not a yellow flower. If someone decides they want to flag on me, I will absolutely destroy them. I'm actually just looking for the flowers, but you know, whatever. Yellow flower. Oh, thank God there's more than one. Yo, that, it said yellow flower and it gave me zero flowers.
That's not yellow. What the heck? Am I in the right spot? Why are there only blue ones? like a bad rotation or something is that why people aren't here oh, volcanic umbrella mushroom Return to the Looney, or return to Looney the Spirit at Looney Cabin. Why? Listen to Looney the Spirit about what happened. Okay. Borgo. I remember doing this, more or less. This area just reminds me of, have you guys ever seen the movie Alice in Wonderland? Not like the adult one, but like the kids one. It really reminds me of that. Meet Weenie in this spirit. Oh 
one day, maybe for the next tier 9 horse idea, make a horse that can swim. So you can use it instead of like a boat. That would be nice. Like, what else are they going to make for tier 9 horses that are unique? Oh, God. <sighs> Questing. I'm just kidding. Let's go do this. It'll be like five minutes or less. <laughs> Bomb! I don't even know if I have all the knowledge here. I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm not 100% sure. zone or like what area 160 AP oh I see I think I see why this place is uh, so popular. So that is some fast CP or like uh, skill point XP. pieces. Yikes. Yeah, so... I need five more Poisonous gills. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea where to get that. Oh, I see something. people going oh a yellow dot let's go chase it huh. that was like the most delayed thing I've seen Get away from me. Nineteen fifty five silver. That is such a random number. Why don't you just say like nineteen fifty or two thousand? 